everybody. Uh, we are the Hip Professionals, and you guys are tuning into our first uh, appearance, first time doing uh, this semester, our auxiliary show, which we like to call Total Elim Elimination. Um, you guys are going to see us all go heads to heads up against each other uh, and fight for a prize uh, in a game show. And what we need from you guys is uh, some story of a vacation that you guys went on, something interesting, it can be recent, can be a long time ago, it really does not matter. Anything vacation-y, anything like that, vacations, anyone? Raise your hand if you got a story. I know you've all been on vacation. Maybe you went to the beach. All right, Josh, what's up? Um, uh, me, my dad, and my brother went to um, um, Utica to visit my uncle and my cousins. They're going to uh, go tubing down the creek. Ooh. Um, and it was pretty fun, but near the end we saw like dark clouds. So I asked my cousins if it was supposed to thunderstorm. It wasn't the day before, but this but the forecast showed like thunderstorms like an hour. But within 10 minutes, we saw lightning, so we had to scramble out of the creek. Um, and then my uncle went ahead to get the car from like the lot we parked it in. Mm -hmm. So we had to carry all of our shit um, along the side of a very long road with cars going high speeds the other way in the rain uh, until my uncle drove up. But by the time we actually got to the car, we were already there. And pulling out, he almost ran off the makeup. <laughs> wow, so if you had to rate that experience out of 10, what would you give it? 10 being like, amazing. Give it a nine. You give it a nine, all it right, was, it was amazing. Fun, all right, thank you so much. because I want parachuting to be in the Olympics because it's a sport. I've gotten injured five times. It's a fool. My name's Brett. Thanks. Woo! Whew. Hello, everybody. My name's Charlie. And... Ugh. I'm into ironing. <laughs> I think ironing is a real sport because when you think about it, there's just a lot to ironing, you know? You gotta worry about the pleats and all that. You gotta make sure that your steam is on the right setting. Yeah. Oh boy, it's meditative. I just love a good, clean shirt. And it's so, it's so wonderful. Um, and you know, it just, it really means a lot to me. Um, 
just like, you know, Quidditch does. But like, not when real people play Quidditch, just when they have animated Quidditch battles. That's what I like. Hi everyone, I'm Stacy. Um, I just really love winter bowling, and I think we should really like push that to be in the Winter Olympic Games 2022. I'm gonna split the competition. Uh, hello, my name is Hans. Uh, I am from uh, Deutschland, and my sport is uh, a paddle ball. Yeah, uh, paddle ball is very exciting. It's very dangerous. You get my trick is hit in the eye, and I feel that it is a great tactic for the uh, for the uh, next Olympic Games. And uh, I, I hope you will all uh, show me your support on on the, on the Facebooks and the Twitters. Uh, have a good day. Hi, my name's Carolyn, and I'm a swimmer, and I think that swimming should be added to the Winter Olympics. If you're not swimming in ice water, it doesn't count. Thanks. shirts with wrinkles in them. Oh, well, if you want some shirts, I, uh, I did do laundry before I came out here. Could you maybe, uh, watch out for care? my board. No, no, don't worry. I want to run into your board. Great. Good, thank you. Thank you. Um, Like, I couldn't really understand why. Like 
like it lit winter bowling's curling. Like it's curling without the pins. Or with the pins? With the pins. It's curling with the pins. You already have a sport in the Olympics. It's like, let women have a chance. I don't like her. She's mean and like, okay, what's her name? Carolyn, Caroline, Carly, who cares? But like, the thing is, if I wanted to be cold and swim, I would just like throw some ice cubes in, you know? At least it's roomy. I mean, look how much space this igloo is. Like, you're still in the igloo, and you're like, look at all the space in between us. I think this will be perfectly fine. We should draw a line. Cross me. Ah, to the igloo, it's so dark. Because you know we're, we're on ice and we're in igloos, so oh, God, I can't just plug an iron into the wall. Electricity. And then you know my solar-powered iron, like who are we kidding? So I actually have to go and get my steam generator. But I like that better because it's authentic. You know, it's much closer to the dry cleaner's iron that uses real steam. Hey, have either of you guys seen my snowball? It's like a bowling ball, but it's like made out of snow. Oh, I, uh, I added two other ones, and it looks like a great snowman now. Isn't it so nice out? Caroline. Uh, Brett. Interesting name. Yeah. Um, it's... That sounds like a name for a dog. <laughs> So what do you do, Brett? Um, I'm a parachuter. I jump out of things. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Do you do, like, tricks? Well, no, I just like trying to get to the ground as slowly as possible. So you jump out and you, like, pull the cord right away? Can I confess something to you? I guess. I'm afraid of the ground. It's why I parachute all the time, to get off the ground. I had never told anyone that before, and I just felt such a strong connection, and I think now I can finally open up and be myself around these people. Want to hear something super crazy? What? That's why I swim all the time, too. Oh my god, you're a ground -up -oak too? Yeah, and that's why winter swimming should be in the Olympics so I can do it all year round. Oh my god, you know the struggle. Have you ever walked outside and just start screaming? Yes. <laughs> Slippery, huh? 
Are you a swimmer? A winter swimmer, yes. Is that any different than the summer swimming? Yeah, because you're under ice. If you're under ice? Yeah. Like, what if you get like a like a Charlie horse or something? <laughs> Rut row. And you're really trying to get that in the Olympics over a very deserving sport like ironing? Yeah, 100%. For like, winter bowling? Yeah, that's why I'm on the show. You bowl? Yeah. Nothing. What? I said nothing. What? You want to know what? I want to know. You want to know what? What? I feel like I walked, or sorry, swam into some very uncomfortable situations, and like I'm feeling very attacked right now. Um, like I just wanted to swim and have a fun time underneath the ice, and it's not my fault that some people aren't cut out. For swimming underneath ice. Like, you just hold your breath a really long time and <laughs> rut row, if you lose, you lose. My half brother was a bowler. And you know what? My parents thought that he was just the best. And when I said I wanted to do ironing, they said that that's not a sport. All right? So, anyone who participates in bowling is dead to me. But the thing is, they also say that. Such a bowler. It's a very funny joke. I was trying to tell her without directly saying that bowlers are stupid. Because, like, let's face it, you're just throwing a ball and hitting pins. I can do that. It's not hard. Now try and iron a full wedding dress in 20 minutes without any starch. I'll wait. Well, you know what? Try a 710 split when the pins are penguins. Stacy. You're saying that she thinks that it's hard to bowl? Are you kidding me? Oh my God. Oh my God. I cannot wait to show my wrath. Yeah, and like try recognizing the oil patterns when the oil's on ice. The Zamboni pattern. Stacy. I hate you. Your shirt's wrinkled. Yeah, I ran out of the room earlier. Um, you don't think they noticed that it was because of the dirt, right? Like, I'm trying to keep it on the down low that I'm afraid of the bird, bird and stuff, so you don't think they noticed. Don't tell anyone, okay? Okay. Some people like to compare it to a nice massage. He does, yeah. So, Hans, have you given much thought to this, you know, elimination aspect? You know, who you're going to not want to go against? Oh, I, I can't even, I can't even imagine. I, I think everyone is so fun. Oh, I, I really Hans, want to get rid of anyone. So naive. If you really want to get your. Uh, what was it that you do again? A paddle ball. Yeah, if you want to get your paddle ball, you know, a very Stop legitimate 
if you uh, are saying it to my uh, SAS infusion, uh, if you want to get your SAS infusion into the Olympics, you know, you're really going to have to think competitively. And you know, I think that bowling in the winter is really not what needs to be seen because we're trying to appeal to the people. You know, we're not just here for us. We're here for what we do. Sure. So what I'm saying is half your shirt is wrinkle free and the other half, you know, if you were so inclined to vote against bowling, you know, her name is Stacy. All right? Yeah. If you vote, were to vote against her, I'll finish up your shirt. Well, that's, uh, that's very awesome. Hey guys. Hello. Did you guys even hear Elsa? Hi. Do I think that you heard any of that? Maybe. Do I think you know what's going on, though? That's a different answer. Oh, I do. He's the glue's echo. Uh huh. Dark out doesn't mean I can't hear. Yeah? Yeah. Really? Do you have to hear a lot in bowling? Yeah, you do. You can hear the pins drop one by one. Uh -huh. by one 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 by you can't improve anymore, whereas I you know, keep breaking records. You like try to iron them or something? Can't iron them. Um, is that supposed to be a joke? Because that one wasn't funny. I would never joke about something so serious. Are you being ironing? sarcastic right I would now? never joke. Was she being sarcastic? I can never tell. But what I can tell is that she is the worst. She's nothing like me. Anyone who says that we are similar is not right. Not similar. But you two are like brother and sister. It's so fun. What? Excuse me? <coughs> hey, you know what's more fun than ironing? Bowling. We should play together sometime. Okay. Um. Hans and I were just talking about how much we dislike bowling. Well, he'd like to try it. So. But he wouldn't. And the thing is, my real name's not even Stacy. I'm fooling them all. I will win. I will get winter bowling in the Olympics. And then I will get those sponsorships to the cereal brands. Martha, <laughs> Stacy. Hans and I don't think that bowling deserves a place anywhere, honestly. Honestly, I think you should get your Hans off of him because him and I are gonna go bowling. Hans just telling me he doesn't like to bowl. Why would you gotta say that? Hans, not now. Did you say too cold? I did. I can warm up the water. Are you gonna drop the whole iron in this lake? <laughs> that was a good joke. That was a joke, yeah? It's a good one. It's okay. Great. No, I'm just gonna iron the water, you know, heat it up a little bit. You don't have to drop the, the, the whole thing? Well, you know, just the, the spots that need it. Okay. Guys, guys! I found this ice cube stuck to my arm this morning, and it has, like, words in it. And I don't know what they say, because it's, like, on my arm, and it hurts to, like, pull it off. But did you guys get a cube stuck to your skin? Oh, is this the ice hole in the Yeah, this is my swimming hole. You swim in this I've, hole? I've established that the swimmer and I swim under the ice. Yeah. Well, 
I got some ice cube stuff in my mom this morning. Oh my god! Stuff here. Same! Everyone watch out! Crash landing!
Exactly. You get the message. Right? Thank you very much for being concerned for my well-being. Are you really interested in Charlie? Is it? No, I'm a friend. Um, so I, I feel like you didn't understand what I was saying. Oh no, I got this completely. And it, it would be very well appreciated. No, okay. And be, I hope that I can provide you the same, uh, to look out for you as you are looking out for me. Yeah. Okay, so you want to look out for me, so... Yeah? You should not move. Well, I'm just saying, remember that thing where I warned you about your, your paddle ball? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what a friend does. I see what, I see what you're trying to say. Exactly. Exactly what you're trying to say. Ice cold? No, it's the normal temperature for ice. Yeah? I love swimming in the ice. You love swimming in the ice? Yes. Yeah, I was just about to go. You know, I was just about to, you know, warm up the water because, you know, I wanted to have a nice uh, exfoliating foot bath, but never mind. You can do that. No, I wouldn't want to ruin the experience like you might have done before. 
like, you know, ruins someone's high school experience. I feel like you're trying to tell me. Oh, hello. Uh, does anyone have a blanket? Not the time, blanket. Hans. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Do, do I? I know about your past. I know who you were. Where you came from. Crofton Barrow High School. Yeah, that's where I went to high school. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Graduated 2006. Yeah, that's when I graduated. Ranked uh, 42nd in your class. I mean, I don't really think about that, but that sounds about right. Yeah, I know you don't really think about it. I know you don't really dwell on your high school time. I know you don't really dwell on the person you were back then. I know that you don't think about it constantly. I know that you don't think that that's when you peak. I know that you're not constantly trying to prove to yourself that you're not just a shell of who you were in high school. I know. I know you've really moved on. I've got a shirt being ironed right now. I've got to go. There was no shirt being ironed? I just thought, what a power move, right? Like, just walk out of there like I had somewhere else to be. We had conversation. I said the last word. I'm really moving forward. My therapist is going to be so happy. just trying to sound cool. Oh, it's okay. Okay. We all do that sometimes. So, we don't need to prevent bowling from being in the Olympics, you know? Sure. Not that I was, you, not you that I was saying that earlier. You mentioned that again. I, no. Then we just don't need two swimming events. Exactly. We don't need two swimming events. Do you want to come bowling with us? Look, yeah, I, I actually made a second ball, so you can use this one. That one's the second one, so it's I learned how to do it better. Oh. Also, you just gotta dip in the water. That's pretty glamorous. You're all so sweet. I'm having such a wonderful time. 
Hans is like the most genuine, real, trustworthy person I've ever met. It's like you take something so pure, like the feather of a dove. You know, like the purest bird there is. Nothing like that terrible pigeon seen on the streets, but like a dove, a beautiful bird, you know? The ironing boy has problems with his parents. I can use that against him. He has problems with his siblings. Very terrible home life. I've heard all of him wail all about it in his sleep. I can use that against him. But, you know, enough about my, my siblings and me. I've really moved on now that, and Hans is just my inspiration. Make sure that the people see that I was crying. I'm emotional. I made us this giant mountain of snow so we can be farther off the ground. Brett, you're so sweet. Thank you. You know, I don't think any of the other contestants really like me, and I can't figure what? out why. And I, I feel like you're like my only friend. Well, there. Trash then. We don't need them. Like, the, the one, Charlie said something really cryptic to me about my high school experience and who I was yeah. as a person when I was in high school. Yeah. But like, I'm sure you I were just, an amazing person in I high don't, school. I don't know what he was talking about. Do you hear a, a paddling? It's gone away. Probably the snow settling. Um, I just... I don't think you're a bad person. And I think you can take... talking about I wasn't gonna go it's fine. Ray your phone is melting and I just ironed your lane um I didn't ask him I didn't ask him to do that for me it's fine Ray you can go have fun no. I even did it the second run through it's super smooth it's okay Brad uh, I'll just go swimming I'll go to I'll go to the ice pool and I'll swim the swimmer is afraid of being alone I get this, we all get this, but she's constantly in fear. It rules her life. It's why she was fully in high school. I know these things, I've seen them before. Wait, you can come with me bowling? I don't think they'll want that. I don't care what they think. Look at them on the ground. The ground will eat them up one day. Yeah. The reason I'm afraid of the ground is because when I was younger, I was in an earthquake and the ground ate my mom. Oh my god. That's horrible. Yeah. I can't believe how similar to my story that is. It wasn't an earthquake per se, but something ate my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a mom either. You don't have a mom either? No, I don't have a mom either. Oh wow, I guess I'm the first one to come here after getting this message in a block of ice. I wonder where everyone else could be. <gasps> Hi Charlie. Hello. Did you get a message? Too? I did get a message. Did you bring it? Yeah. It's floating behind me. Nice. How have you been, Charlie? You know, it was nice. I spent some time with everyone else. Hey, Charlie. Hey. hey. 
Stacy. Hey, Charlie. Hi, Brad. Hi, Stacy. Oh. You can never go anywhere without your to-go iron. You're so right, Charlie. It's one of the shake batteries. Oh, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Super cool. You know what else is super cool? Ice. Good. You're getting it. Gosh, very bright. Mm -hmm. Just like the moon, that by the time it reached its apex, well, according to my block of ice with a message in it, that's when we all have to cast our votes by. Oh, oh I haven't oh. even thought about that. Yeah, well, I have. I did a little thinking, you know. It's really it's a tough choice. You're not gonna believe it, but. It was not a tough choice. <laughs> right? Yeah. Still voting. Yeah, just gotta put your vote in that, uh, that there bucket. Hold the fish. You bet. There's no way I'm going to let them go any further. I can't believe they made us right on the fish. I'm not voting for her. I'm voting for Brett. Because without him, she'll go crazy. Iron is not a sport, dumbass. And yep, that looks like the apex. Oh no. Hey Charlie, hey Brett, hey Hans, I hey Stacy. Oh hey Stacy. Hey Brett. Hans, good to Hi, see Brett. you guys. Hi, Brad. Hi, Brad. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Brad. Stacy. Hi, Stacy. Now, how? What are we looking for? I don't. I think it's no. the constellations. They're realigning. Oh, that's so clever. <laughs> Whoa. What? what is that? Oh. I can't. Says Brett. Oh, that could be a typo. No. Brett could be the name of the dog. Yes, well, they oh, actually moved they the Brett. Canis constellation, so. Oh. oh. Okay, guys, I guess that's. I'm so sorry. Bye, Brett. Oh, Brett. Bye, Brett. Bye, Brett. <laughs> <laughs> 
Fred, I didn't vote for you. Um, okay, I... Of course not. Before I have to jump off of this mountain I made, I Good just... speech, Brad. Um, yes, Brad, speak. I just speak wanna Brad. say, um, I'm a little scared because this means I have to go back on land, and I don't like land. As we said, my mom was eaten by a creature that lives on land. Um, I'm gonna miss you all. I'm gonna miss you all, not you guys. I'm gonna miss you all. <laughs> Good thing I have my parachute on me to jump off this mountain. And that was our show! professionals and uh, this auxiliary show is a continuing form which means that every time you come back we're gonna be playing the same characters and we're gonna keep moving on just like a game show or like a survivor type thing so um, we're gonna be doing it Wednesdays from 830 till 930 here throughout the semester if you guys want to find more info about that um, you guys can go ahead and follow RIT Improv on Facebook um, we have all the information on when our shows are there or you guys can follow us as the professionals also on Facebook um, and you guys want to do what we do, um, and that is improv, you guys can come to our workshops, which we host in the SAU, Mondays and Thursdays from 8 to 10 p.m. Um, and the location of that would be on our Facebook page. Thank you guys so much. Uh, get some coffee and stuff, and have a good night. Yeah. Is now.